When I was a child I dreamed that I stepped outside on a normal sunny day, to find some weird epidemic was going on, men, the male sex, were standing outside their homes staring at the sun, the women were very upset by this, why, why were the men just standing there like zombies, there was something sacred about that dream, it left me with a feeling, an emotion, like, the men just staring at the sun was a good thing, but why, why is it that I thought this was such a good thing? Looking back on it, I now get it, these men weren't zombies staring off into the sun, that was a female perspective of what was actually happening, what was actually happening is men were no longer paying attention to women, women spent their lives with males pursuing them, all eyes on them etc, what if men lived for themselves, what if men pursued things that brought them pleasure, rather than every waking moment trying to win the affection, approval, of women, what if a man didn't climb the highest mountain today? just to impress some set of tits as he stands the jumping up and down for attention, begging for pussy. What if instead he lived for himself, not obsessed with the never-ending pursuit of female approval and sexual gratification, to a woman, it would feel hostile, and threatening, it would be a misogynistic betrayal of his identity as protector, provider, and seeker of pussy, a man is a horny fuck machine, he would swim an ocean of sewage for the chance to get laid and the only use for this horny fuck machine is to be a protector, like the guards that stand beside the queen ready to strike down anyone who approaches her maliciously, he is to worship her like a goddess, adoring her with gifts and adorning her with jewels, and to make sacrifice after sacrifice to her, and when this horny sex starved minion has done a good job, he may be rewarded with sex, when he can no longer protect her, or can no longer make any more sacrifices, or can no longer lavish her with gifts and worship her properly, than like a utility that is broken and no longer serves its function, it must be thrown away and replaced, this is a man's role, protector and provider, this is his identity, his goal, his role, his pride, his self-esteem and self-worth, if ever a man chose to identify as something else, he would be mostly free from the slave to women role that has so greatly abused him, and if men as a collective group, were to all abandon this identity, to swallow that red pill so to speak, then this, in the eyes of women, whose identity is the eternal child worshipped like a god, would be betrayal, a woman's identity is wrapped up in man's identity, men is the sex starved provider and protector of women, a woman is the creature who is entitled and worshipped by those sex starved protectors and providers, if men abandon their role, they have threatened a woman's goddess identity, women are gods that are in danger of becoming mortal if males stop worshipping them, anything that steals a man's attention from women, is a threat to women, a woman is to be looked at, admired, sought after, if men look away, then for every moment he looks away from her, she is not being worshipped, her role is threatened, men staring off into the sun, as a collective, was my young early mind's symbolic metaphor for men choosing their own role, their own identity, looking away from women, not giving them the worship they felt entitled to, the greatest threat to a god, is not being worshipped, men living for themselves threatens the very existence of womanhood, it removes their status as goddesses, men staring off into the sun is a metaphor for going fishing, going bowling, going hunting, going their own way, men having a deep and meaningful conversation with another man, something I noticed as a small child was that girls hated more than anything, men having any sort of men only space, what was it that frightened and threatened them so greatly, I believe it's the idea that men could be having fun behind that closed door, I can just picture women standing outside the doors of a men's only club, pacing back and forth frantically thinking those males, what if they're in there having conversations not about us women, what if they are talking to other men, and enjoying male bonding, those men in there, they need to be worshipping this pussy, I swear every cock in that place better be throbbing thinking about how he can impress me and my fellow goddess, as a woman, I demand all of their thoughts be focused on my sex, this is women, deep down inside, they know their only contribution has been relieving men of sexual frustration, they know they are the superior class, the exceptional class, the first class, the privileged class, and they know all of this is based on one thing men's obsession with earning a woman's approval and vicariously their pussy, sexual gratification, women are obsessed with being looked at, all eyes on me is their holy commandment, they see themselves as goddesses, if a man looked in any direction other than her own, he is committing sin, 
for thou shalt worship no other god, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous god, a woman, as an individual, does not like it when you look at other women, for they are jealous, women, as a whole, do not like it when men look at anything other than women, for they are a jealous sex, one of the reasons we see women barging into male spaces, demanding a seat at the table, and demanding special treatment, is they need to keep up the worship, a god is only as much of a god as you give it worship, from an atheist perspective I might add, god, as a human concept, has as much control over the populace, as the populace has belief in it, to turn your back on the gods is to take away their god status, women demand that rude jokes, and harassing glances, not be tolerated in any male space that they have barged into, this is a test, to make sure that among all the males working as partners, rather than as rivals killing each other for mating rights, that the worship of women continues, to cater to their nagging and complaining shows that the male sex will still bend over backward to accommodate the chosen class, the holy class, the female sex, it is, in some cases, a test, a bit like the insecure wife, girlfriend that says you love me, right, when a woman says I demand this man over here be fired for the way he smiled at me, and the way he glances at me makes me feel harassed and frightened, this, in some cases, is her saying as women are still goddesses, right, our personal private emotions still dictate men's actions, right, what they fear hearing as a reply is, too bad, take it like a man, learn to toughen up and deal with it, because those words actually translate to you are mortal, like the male sex, you get no special treatment, women demand change in male space, often as a measure, a test, that the male sex will accommodate them, thus reaffirming their specialness their sacredness as ladies, also, by creating special rules to accommodate women, they are creating a system, a reminder to the male sex, that women are special, because it is very important to women that men not be allowed to forget that, beneath all the rhetoric about equality, they really need to be treated special, both as an ego stroking reassurance that they still have goddess status, and as a reminder to the male sex that women are to be treated better and special, in Victorian era, men were to rise when a woman entered the room, he was not to use profanity in the presence of a woman, he was to take his hat off in the presence of a lady, and other pseudo worship gestures, to remind women that they are a special people, a privileged class, women are like jealous narcissists, easily compared to a spoiled self-aggrandizing god, and like such an egotistical god, they are wrought with insecurity, and need constant reminders that they are special, and they are being honored and sought after, worshipped, in the dream. The men were looking at the sun, completely useless zombies in the eyes of women, the women were upset and confused, they did not know why their men, their worshippers, would just abandon them, today I know why the abuse we have suffered at the hands of our gods, has urged us to seek other objects to waste our time with, even something as simple as the sun, provides a man with a more satisfying experience than the narcissistic bipolar behavior of women, the eternal spoiled child, the sun gives us light and heat, and women exist as parasites, bleeding dry the resources and time of the male sex, and once they have sucked the life from the man, they move on to another, men are increasingly getting fed up with women, the reward of their loose pussies, the approval of these narcissistic trailer park ghetto queens, is not reward enough for the abuse we endure from them, swallow the red pill, cast your eyes away from the sirens, and kill the gods, go your own way, live for you, and now if you'll excuse me, I think I am going to step outside and watch the sunset.